I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop the little Kefi Vera on the ground. I don't wanna do that. So we're just gonna tuck him more carefully on my leg there. Okay, let's try this again. Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly update vlog here on the Pixel Biology channel. And I'm really hoping these are going to be weekly now because I have really missed just being able to talk to you guys to answer some of your questions, to let you know some of the really cool things that are going on behind the scenes, especially because we have a lot that's happening right now. Oh my gosh, I've kind of jumped into the deep end with trying to update our thumbnails and get things looking really nice in our channel with a new logo. And I hope you guys really enjoy the new end screen that I've been putting at the end of the videos. That's something that has been recommended for YouTubers to start doing. And at first I was like, I don't know if I have anything pretty enough. And then I realized that we could probably have some fun showing off some of you guys' fan art or some really cool little secret story scenes at the end of certain videos like if you guys looked at the end of the untold tales video you may have recognized possibly the fan art and if you looked at the end of the behind the paws video you may have recognized the two kits running around so I'm having a lot of fun with that and trying to like overhaul how everything looks has been so much more work than I anticipated but it has been so rewarding and I can't thank you guys enough for the kind comments about how the insulate looks and the really fun just excitement of everybody going wait a minute has that logo always been in the bottom right corner where did this come from so thank you guys that's me trying to figure out what it means to be a youtuber and trying to always continually improve our community and improve the way our channel looks and the way our channel functions so that we can share more adventures together so keep an eye out for some more new things coming up that's why these weekly update vlogs are so fun so i can tell you guys about those things because we do have some new art that's going to be rolling out i have some really fun commissions from eric who has done the majority Majority of our art for our channel that hopefully he turns stuff around really quickly so hopefully you guys will see that really soon I think it's about time that we celebrate the growth of our community with a new banner for example so I'm really excited to see what he might turn out in fact if you guys have any animals that you really enjoy from our various series then be sure to mention them now and there's a chance that they may make a secret appearance in the new banner that we have coming out for our channel so if there's like a certain animal or a certain character that you really really want to see on our main channel page that you feel just represents the community represents some of your favorite adventures let me know which one it is and I will make a little list and I will go through it with him and we'll see which ones will fit in there but your suggestion may make me go oh, that's right I do love cow plants from the Sims 4 or what would our channel be without Lily and Tate and more on that in just a minute so, you know, those kinds of things. Well, let me know, and there's a chance that your idea might get tucked into the next art piece that we have to represent the the front of our channel. So that's gonna be really fun. But it has been a lot more work than I anticipated to get all of those behind the scenes sort of art, logo, creation, music picking sort of stuff done. And I apologize that I've fallen behind on a few series, or what I really should say, not even been able to resume the usual pace that we did before I had to leave for Hawaii, or even before that when I got sick, or even before that when my uncle passed away, or even before that. Basically, things have not been the usual for our channel since about early December, and I understand that I definitely need to start uh, picking up the pace a little bit, rolling out the series on a more regular basis, and I wanted to reassure you guys that there are definitely plans in place for that. Some of those plans include sharing my treasures and the things that I got from Hawaii. And I have not been able to do a really proper specimen spotlight just yet, but I promise you guys, as you saw in the Hawaii Q&A video, we have a lot of amazing video to go through. We ended up recording 130 gigabytes worth of material for the channel. So there's a lot to sort through and there's a lot of different animals. There's like sea turtles and so many fish and so many different species of birds and then just the normal vlog stuff that I need to start sorting through and putting together in a really fun way to give to you guys as specimen spotlights and highlights over here on the main channel and then to delight all of you curious people who pop over to my vlog channel series Greenhouse and want to see the behind the scenes stuff of what Chips and I were up to in Hawaii and I do want to get those out so I just wanted to reassure you guys I haven't forgotten I just haven't been able to get to that point just yet because I want them to look really nice all of a sudden I just have this 
whole urge to really make sure that I am putting my skills to the max. And after almost three, four years of doing this and almost 5,000 videos in the archives, I'm starting to sense that my skills have developed and matured a little bit more than they used to be. So I'm trying to kind of bring everything up to meet that. So I apologize for the slowness of not being able to share the really cool things about Hawaii with you guys yet. We even have underwater GoPro footage that we got. I told Chips we would want a GoPro. He didn't believe me and the first day when he's swimming around using it and he sees eels and fish and sea turtles, then he believed me. So I'm really glad we had that with us. But the whole point of getting that was to share stuff with you guys. So I definitely want to share all of those videos with you as soon as I can. I just really need to sort through them, figure out how to put everything together and make it really nice and really present the, the emotional feeling of what my trip to Hawaii was and how grateful I was to know I was doing all of these things to share with all of you before I just like stick it up there raw. So I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. You're just seeing like kind of the meeting of my little Siri skills with the big adventure I had. And I just want to be able to bring you guys the best, but don't worry, that doesn't mean I'm just gonna sit on it and stare at it and go, if it's not perfect, I can't do anything. At the very end of the day, I'm gonna make sure something gets up there, even if I'm still like, you know, maybe I have to go back to Hawaii again so I can make a better video next time. There is a level of authenticity, I feel like, for vlogs when you don't focus so much on polishing it or getting the best shots, but you just share the experience. So you'll see a lot of that kind of just like sharing the experience, even if we're just using Siri's little phone and I really need to upgrade to a brand new vlog camera. But Darling said that, you know, maybe buying the nice wildlife camera and maybe buying the GoPro was enough for a little while. So I'm trying to talk him into a vlog camera. So we're using better than just my phone but hang in there until then guys so yeah <laughs> the Hawaii stuff is coming so I have to share something really cool with you guys so while I was in Hawaii I was posting a lot of pictures on my Instagram and if you guys didn't know we do indeed have an Instagram you guys can check it out it's seriously with three eyes you can find links in the video description or the main channel page if you so wish but I shared a ton of pictures of my trip to Hawaii on the Instagram and today Today, the amazing Katie of the Tiny Hats, who you guys may remember from previous snail mail videos that we have done, presented me with a true gift. So she took some of my favorite pictures from my trip to Hawaii and she made a beautiful piece of art that she shared with me on Twitter. And I actually cried because it really brought together some of the most amazing moments that I had in Hawaii into one image. So I wanted to share that little piece of fan art with you guys. I'm gonna try to incorporate sharing the beautiful creations you guys do, the fan art, the other artistic creations, the pictures you guys send in. On our update vlogs, I wanna to try to like get at least one piece in because there's so much creativity and amazing just talent in our community. And I really wanna celebrate that and let you guys know that the people around you right now in the comment section, the people watching along with you somewhere out there in the world they're really talented too and there's this huge supportive community and I just hope you guys can remember that and just thank you so much Katie I'm like tearing up just thinking about that picture again I cannot wait to show chips it's just oh it's it's wonderful and it really highlighted some of my favorite parts of the trip so thank you so much for that you guys are probably all here for a one question that I tend to get all of the time in our comment section and that is Siri when is the next Sims 3 Warrior Cat episode coming out and I'm gonna give you guys a tentative date and time I'm really nervous about this because I have a lot of the script written in my head I have to write it out actually on the computer I have to still read everything record everything I'm so nervous because I put this off because of writer's block and intimidation of worrying if the story was gonna be good enough for you guys long enough and I'm going to stand my ground and I'm going to make this happen so we're gonna have an estimate of at least two or three short role play entire videos to wrap up season one. It's gonna be a little bit of a sudden wrap up. There may be some loose strings, some of which are left purposely dangling for the end of season one leading into season two. And the first of those role play videos I hope to have out this Friday, March 23rd at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I very rarely give such a specific date and time to our videos because you never know what may happen 
happen. Something dramatic may happen or I, I may just hit another writer's block, but I'm going to do my absolute best to just push through and make this happen. Because one of the most amazing things that has happened to our channel is the Sims 3 Warrior Cat series. And it really is something I enjoy when I can just back away from freaking myself out with too many challenges. You guys are going to see in season two, we're pretty much going to fold all the way back to just focusing on the survival basics and the random generators. I'm going to be dropping a lot of the challenges that I created for myself and just letting the cats tell some stories on their own. I'm going to go more with the instinctual stories unfolding instead of having to wait until everything is need or skill or relationship point based. So it may be a little bit messier, but a lot faster in a lot of ways. And I think you guys are going to really enjoy it because after almost a year of having done some three warriors cats, I have a little bit more of a sense of what you're really looking for and what I really love to do. So we're going to have that meeting of the middle grounds as you guys saw from our special update vlog, uh, or I should say our special update video we did for Sims 3 today. I am going to be incorporating a lot of your guys original characters into our story too. That's going to mean we're going to depart really hard from the original content of warrior cats because the warrior cats in the books don't exactly go seeking out stranger cats on purpose and when they do usually it doesn't end well but for the sake of our series and the sake of growing our community with all of your amazing cat suggestions our cats are actually going to purposely befriend purposely get to know expand their social horizon beyond just moss clan branch clan and the third clan that is coming up pretty soon and yes i already have a fourth clan planned it's just going to be held in reserve until we see what kind of big drama is going down with this third clan so i'm hoping you guys will enjoy it i hope you will forgive me if it is not up to par per se in some ways with story writing because we had so many storylines just spring up out of thin air. I overwhelmed myself with them. And instead of sitting here and trying to come up with the magic answer to somehow weave them all together, which after almost four or five months still hasn't come to me, I figure it's just time to move on, wrap things up and start a little bit fresh with season two and just have fun again. It doesn't have to be quite so serious despite my name. So that being said, March 23rd, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time will be the first of two or three role play only videos that we will use to wrap up season one and prepare for moving into season two. In the future, I will hopefully have a bonus episode of Warrior Cats related something going up every Sunday, and that will often be the day that you can find the Behind the Paws episodes where you can submit your original character cats to possibly be created. So keep an eye out for that. So Sundays will be the special day, and in the future, I plan on having the Warrior Cats episodes released on Friday. Friday and Saturday so that it doesn't get in the way of a lot of you guys' schoolwork. I know last time that was a big struggle for season one. If it wasn't on a weekend, people often were overwhelmed with their homework and felt really discouraged that they couldn't keep up. I will also be trying to make the episodes a little bit shorter. My goal is about 20 to 25 minutes. That's going to be really tricky because I still want to have at least one to two or even three little role play bits in each video. I've thought this out pretty hard, but if you guys have any suggestions or if you guys would like to talk about what you really Really loved about the Warrior Cat series, things that really leapt out at you that you enjoyed the most, then please let me know because that's the whole point of this. I feel like the Warrior Cat Sims 3 series is one of the most important things I can do on my channel and I want to make sure that our community loves it. It's a amazing experience to do this with all of you. So I am all ears and I really want to hear what you guys would like to see for season two of Warrior Cats and how I could provide that to you. And we're going to sit down together in these weekly vlogs and hash it out and figure it together. Also, I really wanted to say thank you for the support on Trio of Town, you guys. I know our channel has been all over the place, and if you have a series that you really, really love that you want to see coming up, please let me know. It's just been such a struggle ever since the beginning of the year. Those of you who have been watching the update vlogs know it's been so hard. I got sick, and then the really sad things happened in my family, and then I got sick again, and then I had to get ready for like leaving for Hawaii, and then my mom got sick, and then I went to Hawaii, and now I'm back. and. That sounds like a, just a few little things, but you guys know those kind of bled into weeks of just going, ah, what's happening for a, pretty much the majority of 2017. I'm really trying to get back on track and being able to sit down and have fun playing Trio of Towns has actually helped me really, really unwind. And I'm so used to our farming series being something that my heart absolutely loves, but maybe aren't the most popular among our channel that I was ready for it just to be something I might have to, like, have to sacrifice in the name of being able to work on bigger stuff. But actually you guys love the Katie Barra. You guys love Trio of Towns and it's received a lot more support than I thought. So thank you guys so much 
for that. It really means a lot and it's given me a lot of energy that I didn't expect to have. So thank you for that. And for all of you who are wondering, where the heck's the rest of the stuff? Siri, zoo crafting. What the heck? Where's zoo crafting? Where's Lillian Tate? It's coming. It is coming. And you hear that all the time from me. It's coming, I promise. But it really is. And I'm actually experimenting at, under the advice of a really wonderful person to go through with a proper schedule. One I may even share with you guys. And my goal is to pick two or three main series that will always be done before I work on anything else. So at the very least, I can bring you guys a better level of consistency. I have not been happy with myself with having to pick up and drop so many series so often. That works for some things, like our virtual villagers. We can jump into that pretty much at any time. Slime Rancher is really fun to jump into when there's updates that we can play with, and there's other things that just don't have to be all of the time. But there's other worlds that we have created that are kind of a home away from home for so many of you, like zoo crafting. And I really want to make sure that those things are there for whatever need you have, whatever need I have. So I'm going to be working harder on bringing more consistency to certain series and just providing that as a, a constant thing going on all the time. And then all of the other things that we kind of throw in there, uh, the new app games or other stuff that pops up from time to time, if that doesn't go up as consistently because we're at least keeping the these core heart series going, that's okay. So I would really love to know what your heart series is, even if you haven't seen it in a long time. And then that's going to really, really, really seriously help me. If you guys will leave just what is the heart series that you follow. For me, I would probably say Zoo Crafting, Story of Seasons, Sims 3 Warrior Cats. Those are some of the series that are like near and dear to my heart. And I know that for many of you, that's going to be things like Wolf Quest, or it's going to be things like Star Stable Online, or it may be Niche. And if those are the things that are near and dear to your heart, the things that provide that kind of like sense of home away from home and calm and peace, let me know. That's what these update vlogs are for. I actually use these vlogs to determine the majority of the schedule that I try to put together every month. Speaking of which, how would you guys feel if I shared the schedule with you? I know that's probably going to help out a lot of you guys. I just don't want to make any promises that I can't follow through on, but with this new commitment to trying to hold on to at least one or two consistent series, I think I could do it. So would you guys like it if I could once again start sharing the schedule of when you can expect certain videos out? It means I'm only going to be able to share promises. I'm only going to promise like a few core series, but otherwise, I think it would be really nice just to be able to show you guys that I'm really trying my best with rebranding, with making things really presented quite nice, with eventually updating this little old camera, and everything else. I'm trying really hard, and if sharing a schedule can help you guys feel that consistency and confidence in our pixel biology community, then I'm happy to do that and really do my best to stick to it without jeopardizing my health, which most of you guys are always worried about because of how much we do. So don't worry, I'm not going to do that part. I'm gonna I'm going to stay healthy within reason. How about that? Sharing a reasonable schedule. And if we have bonus episodes, awesome. If we don't, that's okay. But I just would love to figure out what our core heart series are. And I mean from the heart and not just from what gets the most views. So I would love to hear that from you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for the support on Trio of Towns though. I was so happy about that. Oh, and then on the subject of sharing things with you guys and doing things with you guys, I do want to start streaming. I'm still nervous, but I got that webcam for a reason. We have a big basket of snail mail I need to go through, and I think it would be really fun to do the snail mail live instead of just doing it like pre-recorded. I'd be really careful so nobody's addresses showed or anything like that, and I don't read letters uh, on camera anymore because often they're really emotional and they start crying, and I don't want to start crying in the middle of a stream. That would be a little bit interesting, but I do want to start doing that. So if you guys are interested in the streaming, I'm thinking about streaming at least once a month to start with, just so I can learn, just so I can get into the habit. I do have a webcam, so it would be face cam streaming. Uh, and I'm thinking zoo crafting, uh, but especially niche, doing a niche only, like street niche stream only save so that we would stream an island of niche together and we would have like your guys comments on what we should put in what we should name which island we should go to happening and it would be only updating that particular save when we're doing the stream also the star stable streams to level up our horses there's a lot of different stuff we can do and i'm really interested in doing it and especially in grabbing my big pile of snail mail that i have and sorting through it and opening up your guys letters and the other amazing things you have sent to my PO box. So I do want to do all of those things. It's just making a balance between all of the other things that we have going. That's why it's so important for me to learn what your guys' heart series are. 
So, are you guys tired yet? Because <laughs> here I am thinking about how I'm trying to try to make everything a little bit easier to balance. And I'm just piling more on. But I promise you I'm going to try to do this the best way I can. I really feel like my skill level has grown a lot over the last few years as a YouTuber. And maybe I'm feeling that because actually this time next week is my birthday. My 29th birthday is coming up next Sunday. So I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. Chips may have some secret plans. But I really would love to spend at least a little bit of it with you guys. So I'll either do an update vlog. I'm not sure if I can do a stream. I'm pretty sure he has some secret plans for me, but at the very least, it'll be a nice day to kind of sit and reflect and think about the community sharing that I want to do in the future. So, oh, that is coming up. So yay, happy early birthday to me. <laughs> And because I want to start using these update vlogs to answer questions that you guys leave me from week to week, I thought I would answer a question from the Jelly Bean Girl from a couple weeks ago who asked me, what kind of plants do I have on my living wall? If you guys have been watching the vlog channel, then you can actually find the video when I went out with Chips to the plant store and we picked out all of the plants for my living wall. And it's been a few months since then, so I kind of need to do an update vlog pretty soon on what worked and what didn't because the only plant that I want to list off having used in my living wall is the easy plant that's this guy behind the chickadees so oh and these chickadees are so cute i got them for christmas because they were uh donations to the audubon society so thank you chips and then this is the easy plant right up there and that currently is the only one still alive that's why i don't want to tell you guys the other ones i used um they're kind of dying you may notice they're not exactly doing their best. This was a fern. This once upon a time was a fern. It's not a fern anymore. It's just a bunch of dead leaves. So they didn't really like my trip to Hawaii very much. Um, and they don't really like the low light. Even though I have so many lights, the light behind the big shelf mushroom up there is turned off right now for you guys. They don't really like the low lights in my room. So I'm going to probably just invest in a lot more easy plants. But if you guys have some suggestions for plants that could do well in the low light office, then please let me know. I definitely need to get some new plants in my living wall. And you're probably going to see more about that in the vlogs over on the vlog channel. So that should cover everything for this week, guys. It's a lot. There's a lot of new things going on. I guess with me turning 29 and the channel getting a little bit older, I'm just really trying to push my skills and really trying to make sure that I build our community, but do it in a way that really answers the green heart that we seem to have and really doesn't lose sight of what makes this place home for so many of us. So I hope to hear from you guys soon and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.